<laughs> so should we look at the demo enough talk let's look at the how the how the tool looks like now we're talking man so what we are about to see is something new that we have not seen before absolutely this is a global sneak preview just amongst us friends here so you log in to the tool by using your ekahav account and you use the browser to do that so this works in a very similar way than uh for example ekahav insights works already today so once you're logged in and entered your credential credentials it opens up the the portal and, and here you can see the different applications that we have in the portal. And now we are really interested in the cellular planner in the middle. So right now in this demo, I want to design a high performance network to a warehouse using CBRS frequency. And I will start that by clicking now the cellular planner icon here in the middle. There we go. So now I can see the, all of the sites that I have been working on. And here I click the new site. And now it's creating a new site. And now it starts to guide me, the tool starts to guide me through it. So first I need to add a floor plan. And I'm adding now, I could add, ideally I would have a cat picture, but in most of the cases, those are not available. So I actually used bitmap as a, as a basis here. So I, I loaded the bitmap and now as the first thing, I need to set the scale. So I'm saying that this is 105 meters. Okay, so now the system is detecting environment. And I'm going to come back to in a minute that what does it actually do on the background. So then the second thing that the tool asks me to do is to define the area. So the area here means that where do we want to build this network and where do we want to also set the requirements. So yeah, basically there is a tool and I use this to basically paint the area. So I'm clicking the corners and I want to build my net network only to the warehouse area here. And I want to avoid then the offices and other facilities because there's no need for the for the private cellular network there. Okay, so now I have selected the area where I'm building the network. And now comes a really important part. So I'm clicking next here. And then the next step is to define the walls. And here we actually have an AI-based wall detection algorithm on the background that detects the locations and the sizes and the directions of the walls on the background. So as you know, it's a, one of the most laborious tasks in, in the whole design process to actually define the wall materials and their locations. And this actually, this feature eliminates that need because it detects it automatically from the picture. And as you can see, it's not perfect, but it's actually very, very good. Very close to being exactly accurate, but if you need to do small changes, you can easily those, do those simply by uh, clicking and editing that uh, floor plan. Now here, I, for example, here I want to do a small modification. The algorithm has detected these shelves as drywalls, and I want to change them to be wall, um, shelves because they have higher attenuation value. And you know, this is a machine learning algorithm. So more floor plans it reads, more accurate it will get. Okay, I'm happy now with the de definition of the environment. So I move to the design phase. Okay, first thing I select the requirement area and I define what kind of network I'm building. So first of all, like we discussed, I could select the IoT technologies here in a similar way, but right now we are interested in building a 4G, 5G network. Then I select the frequency band. I have some country specific bands here, but really what I'm interested in, I want to select now the CBRS band because that's where I'm planning. The next thing I want to, I, I define the visualization. So what are the heat maps that the tool is going to show me first? And then the next step is that I define the requirements and discussed earlier, we define high performance network and accordingly it sets now the requirements for the different KPIs. Now comes then the selection of the, of the vendor of the access point types. So I have here a list of vendors. Uh, we have in a similar way than in AI Pro, we have implemented the device catalog here. So I could use, for example, directional antennas to begin with, or uh, since we had our friends from AWS in the meeting, let's use AWS private 5G uh, radio units in this uh, warehouse. So the location, the height is five meters, and now I can start placing those access points. And you, uh, I pay, place this manually, and as you can see, it's really, really fast. When I move around the access point around the floor plan, the heat map keeps updating 
at the same pace. I think that looks very, very nice. Now, here comes the second really important part. We wanted to combine the manual design to automated design. So I have now placed here two uh, radios manually, and I'm turning on a feature called AI-assisted planning. And what it does now, it is actually taking into account my other radios and my requirements and the environment, and it's now recommending me new locations for new radios. So, and the added value of this, that it, it really takes all of this into consideration, and I can go and accept these locations one by one, or I can change them or move them around, or I can change a radio type, and it takes this into account and updates the recommendations based on that. So it's basically an AI-based assistant that helps you to combine both manual and fully automated planning. And you know the planning or the locating of the access points is one of the most manual tedious tasks in the design process. So fully automates that. Okay, so let's change then the heat map. We have a bunch of different heat maps here. And now we could analyze, for example, what is the signal to uh, interference and noise ratio on the different parts of the building. It looks pretty good to me, as you can see from the legend on the left. If it would be gray, it would be bad, and more towards blue, blue is actually good. And in this case, we don't need to care about outside radiation because we are, we are building on a dedicated uh, frequency. I'm looking at the data rates. So at this, pay, at this uh, bandwidth that we are using, I can get somewhere around uh, 80 to 140 gigab uh, sorry, megabits per second as a throughput, and I think that's sufficient for my needs. So the final check, I will, I will uh, select the requirement area here, and now I can check the compliance against my uh, original requirements. So remember we set minus 80 for the RSRP and 4 dBs for the signal to interference and noise ratio, and those are now 100% fulfilled. And then one more thing. So clicking then here, I can open the bill of materials. So uh, this automatically, places all of the units that I have uh, uh, inserted into the design. So here we can see those seven AWS 5G radios and their mounting brackets, but I can also manually add stuff here. So I have added, for example, CAT6 cables and POS switches, which we will be supporting later on in our product. And as an example, I put there are some security cameras as well. And then you could also insert the unit cost there if you want to have a budgetary estimate that how much would you design potentially cost. And all of this information can be also exported here simply by clicking the button on the bot bottom right. So that's it. I think it looks really good. And I, at this point, big thanks to the team. They, I know they've been working very hard on getting it to this stage, and I, I think they've done an amazing job. Ansi, come you think on, it man. looks really good? Yeah. You think you think it looks pretty good? It looks. It looks pretty freaking awesome, is what you should say. This is amazing. This What's is so too, cool. Was that being too Finnish again? You're being too Finnish. We need to. We need to. Uh, you know, get excited about this because this is amazing. You know, um, being able to design for private five G as well, like, and to see it like this. This is you know awesome. So yeah, maybe maybe less Finnish. Um, <laughs> okay. More, more, 